I got married at 18 to someone I loved. We were married for 10 years. We started doing real estate, buying houses, fixing them and flipping them. It was, it was good. We bought all the toys and the boats and the cars and the houses. When I got married at 18, we, uh, we both had, were in agreement that we're not getting married to get divorced. You know, even though we're young, we're not, you know, this, we're not gonna be part of the statistics out here. My ex-husband started into uh, alcoholism. He uh, ended up having some infidelities and he was really hiding a double life. Just some of the things that went on later and I just never expected that. I expected to be married till I died. <laughs> that was the plan. We were in business together. We were inseparable. We did everything together. So it was just very, very hard. I said, you know, I have to do what I have to do. So I got divorced at 28. Seven years later, I got pregnant with Autumn. I uh, found out at the same time that I had a tumor growing inside me. So they told me that I wasn't able to work and without being able to work, how can you pay your rent? So I thought my family would help me. <laughs> and you know, that wasn't the case. My mom said, we're taking you to the shelter. Um, I just felt like abandoned, pushed out, like unwanted. When I first came to Alpha, I needed everything. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a home to put it in. I was a little nervous because, okay, single moms, what are they like me? Probably none of them are homeless, you know? I'm gonna be judged, and I was a little, a little nervous about it. But when coming here, it's like the breath of fresh air after the first session. Barb is my mentor. She is amazing. She has helped me out so much. Poor Barb, when I first uh, met her, I was bawling my eyes out and she could barely console me. We were able to pray and talk about things and work through some of the pain that I was going through. Just being able to talk about problems and things like that that are going on, being able to pray about them and work through them and find out that you're not the only one going through stuff. <laughs> It's helpful. Coming to Single Moms Group, uh, I've been able to connect with a few of the moms who are friends outside of Alpha, which has been great. So it, it's been a, a really cool experience. It's always nice to have support, and sometimes you just need to ask for it, you know. When I first saw Autumn, I, I cried. <laughs> She's the most amazing little thing. She was so tiny and beautiful, and she lights up the room. Anywhere she goes, everybody just thinks she's just the most precious thing, and she is my world now, you know? It's God first, Autumn second, and everybody else behind that. I think through those things, I realize um, God brings you through points for a reason, more to focus on Him. Um, I always had faith in God, um, but I believe that we have more of a better relationship now. It's really independent, you know, I really thought, you know, I could do this on my own. Nope, I needed God. <laughs> he was letting me know I needed Him. So, I don't think I would have made it through and without uh, organizations like Alpha at my church. I started out homeless and now I have a home and I am able to you know, take care of my daughter and I'm healthy and the baby's healthy and happy. The father of my child is involved in the baby's life, you know, all the time. I just always want my daughter to know that she's loved. I want to make sure she's never felt like she's ever going to be abandoned, that someone's always going to be there for her and that I'm going to be there for her no matter what. I really feel that my journey was rough, but it was, you know, for a purpose.